Here we've got a Ford Transit that's going to get retrofitted. We'll be documenting this process because we do believe that there is a demand for these vehicles to be retrofitted. They come with really inadequate halogen equipped lighting and we'll be able to retrofit it with a better projector that'll offer better performance, safety, visibility, while retaining a factory look. So we'll do uh, some before and afters and show as much as we can during the process to give you a better idea of what you're paying for. So we've got one side mounted up here. We're using the G5 VRT by Xenon projector. And this is the factory reflector. These are some pretty big open reflectors. So you have a lot of choices with shrouds. We are using the Apollo 2 as uh, to showcase. I think it looks really solid in here. But you could technically have a choice of shrouds if you really wanted to change it up. And we'll go over the performance in just a moment. So we'll be comparing these two with a factory 35 watt ballast on the retrofitted one. And this is the halogen lit up original light source. So you can take a look at the color. All right, so obviously we've got the halogen light source on the top and the retrofitted G5 BRT on the bottom. The camera picks it up really nicely because it's showing the hotspot intensity zones, how tall it is, how wide it is. And the first biggest thing you notice before I even touch the exposure on this camera phone is the width. You're gaining a ton of width with the retrofitted setup. We'll compare the overall width in just a moment, but check out the intensity zone. It's so much wider than the halogen. So the halogen, while they are bright, you're sort of left with, I don't want to say pencil beams, but it's very tight. It makes for good performance on the road, but you pretty much have very little lighting to the sides. And that is a concern for some of the drivers. Um, they feel like their low beams could be brighter, but really they just want a little bit of a better beam optimization. And the only way you're going to get that is with a projector conversion, essentially. All right, I'm going to reduce the exposure a little bit and show you what these, um, you know, what the hotspots look like. You can see the intensity zones right underneath the cutoff on the G5 VRT, which is right where you want it. The intensity zone is a little bit sloppier. I mean, this reflector is pretty damn good, but it's a lot lower. And because it is optimized to be a low beam only, you can see it's a little low. And again, you're kind of left with like a circular, uh, like a round ball hotspot type of thing. But I am pretty sure that's gonna be pretty decently bright. We'll do a Lux comparison to measure the intensity. Before we do so, let's take a look at the width. We'll try to center these off and that way you get an idea of what we're looking at. So, let's see. So if you take a look at the width, you can see the projector retrofit not only has an overall wider beam pattern, but it's brighter throughout that width. And that will be what's giving you the intensity to the sides. Let's see the other side. And that's an even better comparison. So you get that extra little flare to the right and the left. Let's see. Yeah, it illustrates really, really well on kind of overall beam width and beam spread. All right, we'll do a quick Lux measurement on the halogen H11. You can see it's really center weighted, but it's really exceptionally bright. It's a really good reflector that Ford has produced here. So I believe before I was close to about 700 lux, which is again, quite amazing. Uh, now, as we move away from that hotspot, I mean, pretty much immediately you're down to a very low point, but you can, you know, without even measuring, you can see where all the intensity is focused and essentially it'll be right in your, in your lane uh, when you're looking down the road. So it'll give you pretty good distance, uh, but it'll give you not too great of width. 
And now we've got the G5 BRT by Xenon. These are brand new Osram CBI next gen bulbs. Uh, the biggest difference is that when we start moving away, you're not left with just 100 lux like you were before. So your width is a little bit better and you're gaining that performance to the sides. And while you're improving it in the center, you're also improving it much more on the sides. So that's one of the biggest differences with the HID by Xenon projector conversion. And uh, we'll also go over the high beam aspects next. Before we move on, we'll just show off the high beam. So it's pretty interesting. We were just having a discussion. The low beam was really, really solid, but this high beam, we've seen way better high beams. It uses a 9,005 high beam. And this just wasn't really that great. And from the factory, apparently it was set up a little bit weird. It was very high. We can optimize the high beam position when we're doing the retrofit, but you can see it's not very, you know, directed essentially. It's kind of spotty actually. Uh, but with the bi -xenon projector conversion, we, you essentially gain an additional high beam, which completely destroys this, uh, this factory halogen high beam. So it's in addition to the factory halogen high beam, you have the new bi -xenon. And what happens is the projector opens up essentially and it lets out all of its light. So that light is much, much, much more intense because the projector is dropping its shield. It's letting out all the intensity and you also have the original halogen high beam. So you're getting upgraded low beams and you're also increasing the high beam visibility, uh, high beam intensity without adding any extra pods or anything to the vehicle. So it is a really nice feature to have that bi -xenon projector and they work really well with halogen high beams. It's just that this halogen high beam isn't overly uh, a strong uh, performer. So definitely nice to have that feature. So here we've got the final product fully retrofitted Ford Transit setup. This uses a really, really stiff perma seal, but we take a lot of care in opening, cleaning the channels, replenishing the sealant with a butyl grade sealant, which is a headlight, specific headlight sealant. Uh, it's a butyl rubber. Uh, we use the diodynamic sealant. If needed, the lights can be opened up again much easier, but they still have properties that properly seal the assembly came out kind of funny uh it's a little hard to see with the glare and the reflections but this is a black housing it's got the factory amber reflectors left in there those can be painted if you'd like if you have the chrome housings we can paint them black that shroud customer chose the apollo 2.0 black series and it sort of darkens up the reflector even though we didn't paint it because the chrome reflects now that shroud can be left in chrome as well or we have a few other shrouds that we can use. But that is what the setup looks like, uh, fully retrofitted. I think it came out really good, really clean, retains that factory look without going, uh, without going too crazy. You get the performance benefit, you get the width, the intensity, the beam spread, the additional high beam as we saw. And these setups are fully plug and play. That's why I've got this one set up here. Uh, the projector system, everything's under the factory dust cap. You have the D2S adapter that we use, it's a premium. Uh, D2S adapter, those have zero issues. Uh, we feed out the wiring with a grommet down below. That goes directly into the ballast input. Okay, this is called the Hilux ballast. It's our go-to ballast. It's the 2A88 ballast. Built-in error canceller, CAN bus friendly, which means it works on the modern uh, American vehicles, German vehicles, Korean vehicles. The compatibility is almost across the board. It's 100% plug and play. Uh, but on this model, model, it is plug and play. You got an additional ground to hook up. If you want to hook that up, it works fine without it as well. You're basically making a loop. You mount this ballast in the engine bay, wherever you want. It's shockproof, waterproof. It's got a three-year warranty on that ballast. These are really solid. And that's all you have to do. You get it back in. The factory adjusters are still usable. We wired the high beams internally. So you're essentially just plugging it back in mounting this ballast and you're good to go uh, after you align the lights we have a good alignment guide that we can forward you to but again we try to make the seal as factory like as possible that way once you get it back in the vehicle if you care about stuff like that we want it to look good all right we did not cut these housings open they are not sealed with silicone like you see a lot of other retrofitters do because they just can't handle opening up the lights and there's a lot of labor involved in making that you know, 
in, in doing that kind of job. So uh, we do it the right way, as always. These are set up for our customers. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. We look forward to hearing from you. And let us know what you think about this Ford Transit. Definitely uh, appreciate your comments. And please subscribe to the channel.